Good morning and welcome back. We say hello. It is indeed Friday. Mike Apple. Good morning to you. Hey, how you doing? You look really cozy in that sweater. Liking it. Yeah, it's winter. It's my winter look. I like winter apple. It suits you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> With your you. leather-bound well, books cold. as well. I am always I <laughs> smelling of rich mahogany. <laughs> there indeed. you have it. Um, <laughs> okay, wow. Uh, where do we begin? Another border crossing or land crossing, yeah. I should say, um, blocked. What are we? What are you watching here? Well, this is in Manitoba and uh, North Dakota, where the third uh, land crossing has now been closed uh, due to protesters. And look, Melanie, this is this is what day are we into now? Uh, I think it's day five for the uh, Ambassador Bridge. And, you know, the the ongoing ripple effect through the auto industry, the uh, car and truck production in this province is pretty much coming to a standstill because of this. So the economic uh, effects of this are not uh, uh, are not to be uh, discounted in any way, shape or form. And now, you know, went to the grocery store yesterday, didn't see any issues with uh, product deliveries. In fact, they were restocking a whole bunch of things while I was there. But nevertheless, that is going to be something to watch. And, and you know, I think that that's just another hit here. And, and, and I also think another uh, issue is related to uh, the future trade dynamics between Canada and the U.S. and future investment in this province. Because, you know, companies have to make a decision. Where are they going to put a new plant? You know, are they going to stay in the United States? Are they going to put one here in Ontario? And you say, well, if I have to cross the border, do I really need that hassle? Look what's happening. So something to keep an eye on uh, for future discussions. Indeed, major implications here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, U.S. inflation rate hitting what? Seven and a half percent. And the calculation is that is adding two hundred and fifty dollars every month to the average American family of four uh, household expenses. So that is a massive hit to the bottom line for American consumers. And, uh, you know, it just uh, it's spiraling because you're going to see some wage inflation. A lot of the consumer products companies that have reported earnings this week, the likes of Unilever and Coca-Cola, have said they're passing the cost along to consumers. They can't not. So it's it's this um, it, it's the, the danger, I suppose, or uh, in it, risk of inflation and what it means Longer term, U.S. Rate interest rates are going to go up next month, likely uh, by 50 basis points, and then maybe up by as many as seven times this year. I mean, it's it's really going to start uh, hitting home in short order. Keep an eye on it. Markets dropped yesterday and uh, uh, signaling another uh, a bit of a slump here coming up later this morning. Uh, Mike, you're following earnings with one specific cannabis company, but the trend mm -hmm. of the use of recreational marijuana. Um, yeah. So how, how does this work? Well, there's a pot so shop on every corner now, yes. it seems. Yeah. And yet in all recreational cannabis sales from Aurora Cannabis, reporting earnings last night, dropped 40% plus over the past year. And Canopy Growth, uh, the Tweed brand, saw sales in their earnings earlier this week drop 25% for recreational cannabis on a year-over-year -year comparison. So I, I, I don't ask me. <laughs> you don't have the answer, I Mike? I do not have the answer. I don't go into the stores. I couldn't tell you. Uh, but is that an indication that uh, that people are not buying the legal product mm, again, right, right? Or or what? And and look, these companies are losing money. Aurora's loss was eighty million bucks. Canopy was one hundred and eighteen million. And I don't know if they've ever made money. So these yeah. stocks have just been crushed, just I, crushed at the TSX. I looked out the window here at Young Dundas, and I can count them right up Young Street. Right. <laughs> Walk no further than one block. Um, finally, Super Bowl is on Sunday. Yep. Listen, I'm, true confession, I'm not really there for the game. I'm there for all the frill. And, you know, mostly it's the halftime show. Halftime show, sure. It's going to be huge this Fair. year. But you're Fair. also watching the commercials. Well, they're also playing at the world's most exp expensive stadium, I think. SoFi Stadium is a massive yep. uh, building uh, built for the Super Bowl, apparently. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the commercials are going to be interesting because there's going to be a big focus on electric vehicles mm -hmm. and cryptocurrencies. Oh, now, that of sounds course, exciting. These are, no, no. That, look, humor is back. That's the talk in the ad industry this year. The commercials, uh, whether or not we can see all of them here in Canada, that's another question. 
um, because of the uh, broadcast regulations. But you can go on YouTube. I mean, it's not it's not exactly uh, uh, you know something you can't find. And there you see the uh, the General Motors uh, ad for their Doctor Evil. <laughs> oh, evil. Good. Get it? I get it. Evil. Ev. Get it? Yeah. It's smart. Okay. All right. It's pretty. It's, it's it cute. Them. Matt Damon will be walking around hawking oh, cryptocurrencies, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, but but like you said, a lot of this is already available uh, out there. Sure. You can kind of go online yeah. and watch. I find this, them entertaining. This, this, that's right. That's all part of the show. Okay. All part of the show. Mike, yep. you enjoy your Super Bowl, whatever it is that you're doing, yep. eating, Will watching. Do. Take care of yourself.